Hi, I'm Lee of CJ Drill, and today, well, I'm standing in front of a wall with a finish that's called a brocade finish. Now, you may not have heard of that name. It goes by another name as well, and it's called a knockdown hand texture. Now, I want you to come in close because I want you to see the details of this wall and what it really looks like. Now, what I want to show you is this knockdown it's a very defined pattern. When you knock down the peaks, that's what gives it the flat surface on top. But if you notice, it's very, very detailed. So this brocade texture, it's one of the knockdown textures. And I'll tell you, one of our viewers wrote in and she said, Leah, can you show me how brocade is done? And that's what we're doing today. So let's get started. Okay, for the brocade knockdown, you're going to need a knockdown tool. Now, this is a knockdown tool specifically designed for that application. But you know, you can get away with a broad drywall knife as well. Next, you're going to need two hawks. That's what this is. This is a hawk. Okay, you want, I always like to start off, I wet my tools first. So this is a bucket trowel if you're not familiar with the tool. I'm going to stick it into our texture here. And what our texture is, is it's a joint compound. And I've added enough water to give it the consistency of frosting. That's what you're looking for because a, a texture of that consistency, it's going to give you a nice defined pattern. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just place a little small dollop of joint compound on top of one hawk. Then I'm going to take the other hawk and I'm going to smush it like so. So I'm going to pull it apart, dab it a little bit like that, really apply pressure. And what you'll want it to look like is this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply it to the wall. I'm going to show you how that's done. Now what you want to make certain of is you want to add joint compound to your hawks as needed. Now it's time to do the knockdown part of the process, but you know timing is very, very important because you don't want to knock down too soon, otherwise you'll get lap marks. And if you don't knock down soon enough, well, it's not going to lay flat the way you want it. So what you like to do, or what I like to do, is I like to test it first. I just take a small um, drywall knife and I lightly comb over an area just to get an idea of, is it ready? And if you come in close, I'll show you that's the detail that you want. That tells me that my mud is ready and we're ready to go. That's perfect. It's just the amount of detail that we want. It stands out and it's flat. It's knocked down. This is what you're looking for. Now you want to make certain that you use a wet tool for knocking down. Just, you know, wet it with a brush before you start going over. And it's going to give you a nice, a smoother, more consistent finish. And this is how you do brocade texture. So that's it. The wall is finished and it's painted as well. What I want to say about painting is make certain that your texture is completely dry. Give it 48 hours before you apply your primer and your paint. Now brocade, it's an old world texture, right? But there's no reason why you can't use it today. And actually, to tell you the truth, it's a texture I love. I love it because it's easy. It's easy to apply and it'll be easy for you at home as well. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.